Well, hey, Randy, I know how much you love jazz music. Remind me of the name of that comic who was so popular with jazz musicians and hipsters. Well, Steve, you're thinking of none other than Lord Buckley, who the New York Times once called part English royalty, part Dizzy Gillespie. Trans now leaving for Ronsdale, Gonsdale, Flipsdale, Jam City, Rats, Cross, Crest, Cross, Ratitude, Latitude, Batitude, Hattitude. I'm Steve McClellan. And I'm Randy Hodgins. And today we feature Lord Buckley, a truly unusual comedian popular in the first half of the 20th century. Born Richard Merle Buckley in Tuolumne, California in 1906, by the 1930s he was performing in Chicago as an MC and at his own club, Shea Buckley. During World War II, he performed in USO shows and formed a lasting friendship with Ed Sullivan. After the war, Buckley developed his comic persona, combining an aristocratic bearing with rhythmic hipster slang popular with jazz musicians. His most memorable routines are retellings of historical or legendary events, like the Naz, in which Buckley describes Jesus of Nazareth as a carpenter kitty. Well, I'm gonna put a cat on you, was the sweetest, gonest, wailingest cat that ever stomped on this sweet swinging sphere. And they called this your cat, the Naz. That was the cat's name. He was a carpenter kitty. Much of Buckley's delivery was influenced by musicians like Cab Calloway, Louis Armstrong, and Count Basie, and the British aristocracy, perhaps because his father was English. Other well-known routines were retellings of historical speeches, like the Gettysburg Address, and Mark Anthony's funeral oration, where friends, Romans, and countrymen got the true Buckley hipster treatment. Hipsters! Flipsters! And finger popping That is, knock me your lobes. Now, Lord Buckley was also a figure in the early days of television, particularly The Ed Sullivan Show, and with an appearance in 1956 on Groucho Marx's You Bet Your Life. Lord Buckley, how'd you get to be a lord? Are you a wrestler? Well, no, sir. You see, that's a philosophy of mine that I claim that all ladies and gentlemen are lords and ladies. Were it not to be so in calculi, the king and queen could not sit their throne. For it's very obvious that the Empire State Building can be built on the frog patch, and if the sphere swings, the first five floors must have the ruby windows. You know, all I asked him was what his name was. <laughs> Buckley died of a stroke in November 1960 at the age of 54. A feature-length documentary, Too Hip for the Room, The Righteous Reign of Lord Buckley, was released in 2016. You can find out more about Lord Buckley and all our comedy legends, including video clips and extended audio cuts at LaughTracksRadio.com. Thanks for listening, and until next time, it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from him. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.